Hey there, Bruce. Welcome back to Root Letter. Last answer. So to talk to the alien man. Uh, actually, we need to get him a bikini poster of... What's her face? Bitch. Is it bitch? Bitch. <laughs> Although, uh, yeah, that one. Oh, okay, never mind. Maybe not a bikini poster. How about I bring you Arisa Sasaki's autograph? I have that. Rico's autograph would be nice, though. Huh? I was a secret fan. She wasn't popular, so I was too embarrassed to ask for her autograph. I wanted to autograph my photo of her. She's an ordinary housewife now. I know. I'll bring you back her autograph. Could you lend me the photo and CD in the meantime? I'm counting on you. He lets me borrow the photo and CD. I'm a busy man. I'll be returning to my observations now. Marita takes a seat by a strange machine and becomes still. I have an idea how I can get to the po get the poster. I'm not hungry, but I'll head over there anyway. Jurina Haneda photo. Acquired Rico Masaki CD. Where are we going? To her... Wait, where are we going? <laughs> where we saw her. Wait, did we see her? It was a... Oh, I guess we're going here. Waterworks? Oh, that's right. Check. What a stylish design. Well, that's not helpful. <sighs> Whatever. If I remember right, he collects Magatama beer posters. Oh, that's where we're going. Okay. Kami Arian. I arrived back at Kami Arian. Welcome. Oh, did you forget something? No. You were saying you collect Magatama beer posters, right? I do. Do you have one of Rico? That's super geek level, man. Is it that hardcore? In the history of Magatama beer's poster girls, Miss Rico was the most extreme. Could I, uh, borrow it? That should be alright, but please don't use it for anything funny. If all goes well, I'll get your autograph on that poster. Please don't do that. The value of the poster will go down. I can lend it to you, but please don't get it autographed or anything. Alright. Sante brings out the poster of Rico. Rico in a daringly high-cut swimsuit is posed with her mouth half open holding a beer with a suggestive look. Wow, this sure is painful. I borrow the poster of Rico. If you don't need anything else, I'll be getting back to work. Yeah, thanks. Sante goes back to work. <laughs> Alright, I've got all the tools. I'll get information about Aya for sure this time. Are we going back to the waterworks? I'm fully prepared now. I should find Bitch at the practice studio. Ah, oh, the practice studio. Okay. The theatre troop one. That one. When I arrive at the Usagi Children's Theatre Company, the company members and their guardians have started going home. I wonder if Bitch is still here. Good. Bitch and Arisa are staying after after the practice. You again? This time I'll get the truth from you. Mum, who is he? A stranger we don't know. Please leave. You're interfering with their practice. I'll use max mode here. Okay. The idol? Pop star Jirina Haneda. There's nothing I can say. Sorry I can't be of any help. Could you stop there? As you can see, I'm busy with my daughter's practice. Alright, that one then. Inka singer Riko Masaki. How did you know? Could you stop there as you can see? It needs to go all the way to the top then, but it's not going up there, it keeps going back down. You're frustrating me. Pin-up girl, Rico. What's a pin-up girl? Alisa, mummy has some things to discuss with this stranger. Go ahead, wait outside. Don't go anywhere, just stay up front. Okay. Alisa leaves the practice studio. Oh man, not the investigation. Oh, we are fucked. <laughs> The bitch girl can't stand birds, right? No, she's over that now. I didn't think that she might have overcome her fear. If you have something to say, make it quick. Do you admit to being bitch? 
Do you have any proof that I'm bitch? <laughs> I can't believe they keep saying bitch like that. That's a fact that you you were in that class. I don't know what you're talking about. The proof that bitch was in that class is... Your name was on the roster. I had four eyes show me your high school class roster. That guy. The name Rico Haneda was there, plain as day. My maiden name, so what? Rico Haneda was the hottest girl in your high school, wasn't she? Well, that was true if I do say so myself. She wanted to become an actress, and after graduating from high school, she joined a talent agency. But I'm not an actress or anything, so please stop with your nonsense. What bitch did first in show business was... No. Inventory. Too early to take this out? Oh, come on. Alright, I'm gonna save before I fuck it up again. Because I have a tendency to fuck things up, so I'm gonna save. Okay. Start with that. You first tried becoming a pop star, didn't you? That's why I used the CD. Your, your first stage name was Jorina Haneda. Where'd you get a hold of something like that? There's a fanboy I know. Uh, uh, fanboy? Sorry, a hardcore fan. Ugh. Could you please autograph this? The owner asked me to get it signed. My autograph? Well, I'm not gonna sign it. True. Well, it's been years since I've done this. Bitch seems to be in a good mood as she signs the photo. Don't worry, we'll wipe that smile off her face really soon. I was quite popular back then. Popular, hmm? Something's not right. Too early? Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna save again because I keep I keep losing hearts and it's uh it's going downhill fast. I assume we need the CD then. I should just do think every time. You know I was doing that. Bitch couldn't find an audience to start a new line of work. That didn't help. Thanks. Thanks for not helping. That can't be. Jadina Haneda didn't become famous. So she rebranded herself as Riko Masaki and became an Inca singer. This CD is proof. You want me to sign it? Nah, that's okay. Finally, as Riko, she posed in a swimsuit for a poster for Magatama Beer. And this is that poster. I beg you, please put it away. Then you tell me the truth, huh? What do you want to know? You're bitch, right? If you don't talk, I'll take this post to Orisa, to Orisa and... Are you threatening me? Yeah, sounds like it. I don't want to, but if you don't talk, I just might. If you're going to be that stubborn, I should have got a hold of that magazine too. I've never been in a magazine. A photographer approached you at the Kiyomise shopping area and your picture was in the Teens Queen, right? What? Is that how much you want to upset me? What are you mad about? Your photo was in a magazine that high school girls love. I wasn't in it. Oh, sorry. That's it. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Bitch seals her lips like a clam. I'll apologize with Max mode here. Good idea, idiot. It's the end of the world. The world is over. What's wrong with you? Are we through my daughter's waiting? I don't know what you want. Yeah, yeah, okay. Next. <laughs> okay, okay. So the only one I haven't tried must be the right one then. That one. But your photo didn't make it, it's definitely messed up. You think so? Definitely. A good looking girl like you not making the magazine? There's definitely must have been something else going on. That may be, but I wasn't able to make it as an actress. Maybe you were too cute and someone just got jealous. That beauty and sexiness ended up backfiring. Stop lying. Oh, okay. No, no, I'm serious. <laughs> Even I can tell you're just flattering me. You're a terrible actor. I'll apologize with Max mode. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's such a fucking o. Oh, whatever. I'm sorry. Well, this made me a little happier. In school, I was cute enough to be fawned over, but not enough to become an actress. And now she's depressed. How can I cheer her up? Surely being an actress is more than being cute. It's being good at act acting. Right? <laughs> We want to cheer her up. Should I rub that bird in her face? I mean, that's definitely going to cheer her up, right? No? Wait, think. I'll let her know about the fans she had. Oh yeah, good idea. I'm sure she'll love to know that she's washed up now. That'll make her real happy, I'm sure. You know how you're super washed up? Um... This music's really intense and I can't cope. It's stressing me out. <laughs> the fans she used to have. I don't know. One of these? That one? No? You were cute and that's a fact. They were selling photos of you like this, and you even have fans who want your autograph. I was the number one. It was a hidden number one in the same class. No, there's no way. You wouldn't understand. You mean Aya? I wouldn't be so sure. A classmate of yours wrote this letter. I take the letter out and hand it to her. What could possibly be in that? See for yourself. Bitch reluctantly takes the letter and starts reading. Yeah, yeah, we already read it. Bitch finishes reading Aya's letter. The harshness leaves Bitch's face as her face becomes kinder. She said I was so cute, that I was the prettiest girl in school. Those were her sincere feelings. I'm a clown. Huh? I remember that day we went shopping at the Kiyomise shopping centre. Now we're gonna have a silent video. A Charlie Chaplin film. Got a moment? I'm a photographer for a magazine. Can I take a few photos of you? What magazine? Have you heard of Teens Queen? I have. All the girls at school read it. Wait, is this for cute girls around town? Next month is our sign-in special. Have you got some time? Would you let me take a few photos? Will it be in the magazine? Yep, I guarantee it. Bitch, you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> You're so amazing, bitch. You're not even a bitch, even though we call you bitch, you bitch. <laughs> Let me take one of you, too. Are you sure? Oh, you're fine as is. Is that the photo we carrying? Or not? <laughs> These are so awkward because they're so quiet. I, I don't like it. You're a bitch, right? Yes, I'm bitch. Yes, I'm a bitch. <laughs> I affirm it though. Never heard of her. Bye. <laughs> I thought my photo would be in Teens Queen, so I let everyone know. Not just at school, but in my neighborhood. I even said that I'd move to Tokyo and become an actress. But your photo wasn't in it. Not my photo, it was her photo. Bitch returns the letter to me. So who is she? Why won't anybody answer me? Bitch might be trying to decide whether or not to tell me. At a time like this, what should I do? Think. Now if this is how it's going to be, we'll just have to battle of pa a battle of patience. I got time on my side. I wait patiently. It started out as a kind deed. We felt bad for that old lady and we said we'd all help out. But somewhere along the line, it was starting to go- it all started to go wrong. She kept changing like she was trying to become Aya Fumino. Someone was pretending to be Aya? Who? It's Nishino's fault. Treating her coldly despite being her bestie. Bestie is called Nishino, huh? Why do we have to suffer for something that happened 15 years ago? Bitch looks distressed, but I can't get all sympathetic right now. Or ever, because that's not how we roll. I'll confront her with the proof that my pen pal existed. Not that. That. I show her the picture. Who is my pen pal? 
If you want to know that badly, I'll tell you. Your pen pal was Aya Fumino. Don't lie, you just said she was acting the part. Someone was pretending to be Aya, right? No, that was Aya Fumino. Like in the Iwami region of legend? The princess of Himagamori Forest? The dead Aya came back. Ghosts and UFOs are now legends? Oh, come on. Arisa came, comes over. Mummy, you done yet? Sorry, come on, let's go home. Hey. I have nothing more to say. I don't want to see you ever again. Bitch takes Arisa and leaves. Bitch by name, bitch by nature. <laughs> okay, that's a bit mean. <laughs> bitch said it wasn't her photo and that they printed it in the magazine. That they printed in the magazine, it was Aya's. If I get in touch with the publishing company, they might be able to sell me the issue. I look up the publishing company and give them a call. Alright, I've ordered the issue of Teen's Queen from 15 years ago. Oh right, I should go return these. I head for the UFO research lab in Kami Arian. We're actually going to return something, that's cool. Marita was really happy when I handed them the autographed photo. I've given back the stuff I borrowed. Back to the inn, I guess. I arrive back at the inn. Haruka comes over. Welcome back. Did you find the person you're looking for? Still no luck. It seems their classmates have a shared secret. If that's the case, they should eventually tell you. Why do you say that? Secrets are like burdens. The longer you hold on to them, the heavier they get. You want to tell someone and lighten the load. You think so? When I return, I find that my room has been broken into. What the? My belongings are next to the table. It doesn't look like anything was stolen. Who did this? I'm pissed off now. This is how it's going to be. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mystery no matter what. What? Check. They must have left something around around the place, right? There aren't any interesting shows on right now? What the fuck are you talking about? I can see like Shinji through the- okay, that's not helpful. Think. I'm so mad, I think I'll go get a drink. <laughs> yeah, man. Alcohol definitely cures the mad. Nakamura bar. When I get to Nakamura bar, the bartender is arguing with a young couple out front. We're done for today, go home. The bartender puts the clothes sign on the door and goes back inside. Ask. What do you think of the bar? What do I think? I think it's awful. There's something wrong with that bartender. Out of nowhere, he looked like he saw a ghost and then kicked the customers out. No explanation. I've been there. Except we're an arsehole, so, you know. The bartender was acting weird. What happened? When I said my name was Aya, he turned pale and told us to leave. Aya? The bartender reacted to that name. Like he did when we were in there. Think? The bartender was acting strangely. I'll see if I can look inside. Okay. Check. Peering in through the door, I see the bartender at the counter, cradling his head. It looks like something's going on. The couple leaves. I step into the bar. I ignore the clothes sign and step inside. We're done for today. Come on, just one drink? You of all people, please leave. Get out of Matsue. Don't be so cold. Hey. I told you to get out. I better leave him alone for now. Okay, bye. <laughs> huh? I feel like something has changed. Check. There's a photo posted. Yeah. There are small casks of alcohol. It's a bar. Of course there are small casks of alcohol. What are we doing? Am I going? Oh, I guess I'm leaving. He seems pretty agitated. Now's my chance to look around. Okay, so I am checking. What to look at? There are bottles of various types of alcohol. The scenery through the big window is wonderful. Yes, it's lovely. Can we go now? This lighthouse lighting is quite stylish. There's a coaster on the counter. Someone's jotted down 153501. I pick up the coaster. Get out! Fine, don't get mad. I take the coaster with me. 
<laughs> I'm gonna come in here while it's closed, agitate the bartender, and then steal a coaster and leave. <laughs> Man, we're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I leave the bar. The bartender is acting weird. I took the coaster without asking though. It might come in handy. Well, I'll start heading back to my room. Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can find someone else's day to ruin. Hey, maybe the old man's there. Maybe we can ruin his day. I arrive back at the Matsui Inn. When they return to my room, Haruka comes by with her younger cousin, Yuki Hara. So, you said you were looking for Aya Fumino, right? Yuki was in the same grade as her in high school. I never thought I'd hear her name again. It's been so long. I wonder if the Aya Fumino she's talking about is a different person from my pen pal. Ask. Before I ask anything, I should do something for me. Okay. No, the picture. <laughs> is this your Aya? I show her the photo I received from my pen pal. Yes, that's Aya Fumino. Are you sure? I heard there was someone looking for Aya Fumino, so I brought a photo of her. Yuki shows me a photo of Aya from 25 years ago. It shows Aya and her parents, Naoki and Yoko Fumino, standing next to a Western Star building. It's the same girl as in my photo, so both photos were of the late Aya Fumino. Ask. What kind of person was Aya? The phrase fairer face and figure suited her perfectly. On top of it, she was good at every kind of sport, and she had artistic talent as well. She was good at art, and I remember her winning a prize in a contest. Good for her. Is there anyone who knows Aya's father's address? Sorry, nobody knows. Did anything strange happen after she died? There'd be an extra person when taking a headcount at events like field trips or a shadowy figure in group photos. All kinds of rumors like that. Maybe even that rumor. I heard that Aya takes classmates to the afterlife, but that's a downright cliche school ghost story. Don't pay it any mind. But I do mind. Was there anything about a pen pal being created for the deceased Aya? I've never heard that story, but it sounds like another one of those ghost stories you get at schools. Fifteen years ago, someone saw a figure that looked like Aya at the Fumino residence. That's strange. I never heard of the Fuminos having any other children. There's also a rumour of a ghost, a young girl that haunts the empty lot. But if a ghost were to haunt the place, it would be Aya's mother. If so, it wouldn't be a young girl. Sanpei was saying it was a woman in her late 20s. Well, probably because of the classic ghost is a young woman with long hair. Yeah. There was a legend about a dead person coming back to life. I think it was called the Princess of Himagamori Forest. How's that story go? I can't remember, but if you go to the... Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. You should be able to find out. It's getting late. We should be going. Haruka and Yuki leave. It's been a long day. Time to go to bed. But first I should write down my findings. I scribbled down a few notes. Well. We can knock the bitch off the list. Nozu. I couldn't find Aya today either, but I found out a little bit about what happened. Maybe tomorrow I'll finally find her. You say that every fucking night. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying not to get worked up about it, about it right now. Ginger stationery. Is someone a ginger? It's been six days since I came to Matsui. It looks like whoever was writing to me was pretending to be Aya Fumino. She tricked me, but somehow I don't hold a grudge, even if the name wasn't real. I think the rest of it was the truth. Before I leave, I should read another letter. I pull a letter up from my bag. This is the sixth letter. It's postmarked October 17th. The stationery pattern is ginger, I guess. <clears throat> Hello. How are you doing? I'm not feeling too great. We have exams coming up and the whole class seems gloomy. Every day was so fun a few months ago and now it feels like I'm going to a completely different school. Something happened the other day. My grades improved and they suspected I was cheating. That made me sad. Snappy helped me out. I was trying to hold back tears and Snappy held gently to my hand. Whenever I'm having trouble, Snappy is always there for me. Snappy is so admirable and my hero. I'm really glad Snappy's around. You need to be kind to girls too, Max. We might look strong, but we're actually weak. I feel the same way. Kindness is very important. I'm doing my best to be a kind person. Aya Fumino. 
P.S. What kind of girls do you like? I remember what I wrote. I'm ready. Thank you for your letter. There are terrible people who suspect you of cheating. It's autumn of our third year of high school, so the pressure's probably making people jump at shadows. It must be reassuring to have a hero in your class, though. I wonder what kind of guy Snappy is. I'm a little interested that he's if he's the idol type, the sporty type, or the princely type. I want girls in my class to feel like they can rely on me, but in reality, I'm probably just think I'm annoying. But I do have a sense of justice and the will to protect girls. You must be pretty smart to raise your grades at a time like this. Like, I really want to study myself, more myself, but I'm having trouble keeping my grades up. I need to hit the books. Let's do our best. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> Long black hair is beautiful. Mysterious and beautiful girls. Girls with nice figures. Girls who are fun to be around. Let's go with that one. Do you like black hair? Are you interested in studying folklore? Please tell me your measurements. Oh my god, I want to send that just, just because it's an awful thing to write. What kind of people do you like? Yeah, let's go with that. Sure, whatever. I thought Snappy was a guy, but if it's the same person as Morita's childhood friend, it has to be a woman. Tomiko comes to put the fruit on away. Good morning. Good morning. You're running on all cylinders every single day, huh? I'm going for a cool, mature woman vibe, though. I think you're fine how you are. Be natural. Natural? It's the nicest thing a guy's ever said. How come this inn is so cheap? Is it because it's shabby? It's not shabby, this in his personality. That's one way to put it. If you want to complain, I can tell the manager and ask you to raise your price. Hey, don't do that. I wouldn't put it past you. Yeah, I would do it too. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Who is your hero, Tomiko? My hero? Maybe the red bean bread mask? An anime hero, huh? How about in reality? Anyone who's a hero to you? That would be Yukichi Fukuzawa and Ichiro Higuchi. Higuchi. The faces on the 10,000 yen and 5,000 yen bills. They're the best of all heroes. From anime to hard cash, that's realistic to be sure. Women are always realistic. Who was your hero when you were in high school? The captain of the basketball team. Tall, gorgeous and admired by everyone. On Valentine's Day she received more chocolates than the boys. The captain was a girl? Yes. The girls had a crush on a girl? Yeah, it's pretty common in high school. Tomoko puts the futon away. So, where are you headed today? First, I'm going to the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. Have you read Hearn's books? No, I haven't. I'm not a fan of scary stories. If you're going to the museum, you have to read Hearn's books. I'll lend you one. No, that won't be... Tomoko leaves the room. I tried to stop her, but she came back with Lafcadio Hearn's Kwaidan, aka the collection of Japanese ghost stories I didn't want to read. Please read this before going there. Tomoko pushes the book into my hands. Take care now. Take care now. Bye bye then. Tomoko leaves. <laughs> Acquired Lafcadio Hearn's book. Am I meant to look at that? I guess I'm looking at that. Alright, I should read a little bit. I'll read quite on. I avoided Lafcadio Hearn's books, but now that I'm giving it a chance, it's sort of nostalgic yet fresh. The strange stories and beautiful writing were fascinating, and I ended up reading the entire book. It's not just there to scare you, it deals with people's karma, which makes it more interesting. I look at the clock. It's time to go to the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. As I step outside, a tall guy with a hat rushes away. Did you forget that we were like, you know, our room was ransacked? That's suspicious to put it mildly. I mean, yes, it is. You're right. What was that man in the hat? Anyway, I should go to the Lafcadio Hearn Museum. Okay. An old style street among a, along a moat. There's a wooden column that says Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. Looks like this is the place. There's a gorgeous board fence and a gate with a tiled roof. Beyond the gate, there is a Japanese style single story wooden house. I walk into the Lafcadio Hearn Memorial Museum. There are exhibition panels and pictures from Hearn's life. I walk around the museum. Check. Check your roof. There's a picture of Lafcadio Hearn with a commentary about his family. Looks like his father was Irish. There are several items that Hearn treasured. The sign says Hearn was about 160 centimeters tall. Shorty. 
Interesting. It seems to be an exhibit displaying items related to Lafcadio Hearn. There are several items. Oh, okay. It seems to be an exhibit displaying items related to Lafcadio I mean, this what it's a museum for him. Of course, there's exhibits displaying items related to him. It's a poster of the exhibition that talks about how people used to call him Heron San. I didn't see anything that talks about the princess of the Higa, Higa, Himagamori Forest, so. Are you looking for something? Ah! I jumped when I realized Kudai is standing right next to me. If you want to hear scary stories from months away, I'm your guy. Your specialty is ghost stories, isn't it? I know quite a bit of folklore as well. Do you know about the princess of Himagamori Forest? Of course I do. Well, can you tell me? I can't just tell you for free. You want me to pay you? No, I'll, don't, I won't take your money, but there is one condition. What's the condition? I will give you a quiz about Lafcadio Hearn. If you can answer correctly, I'll tell you. Fine, give me the quiz. I have three questions. All the answers can be found in the museum. Point at where the answer can be found and answer the question. Got it? Question number one. What country is Hearn's father from? Ireland. There was a panel that talked about this one. I point at the panel. He's from Ireland. Correct. Question number two. Hearn had a nickname. What was his nickname? I point at the poster. I saw it on the poster over there. It's Head and Son. Correct. Last question. How tall was Lafcadio Hearn? That one. I point to the sign. The sign says Hearn was 160 centimeters tall. Yes, yes, of course. It was around the Tensho era. Era. It happened in Uchi Gun, Mihara Mura, where Ishimi er the where Ishimi area is now. Mori Terumoto sent an archer to Mr. Ogasawara, who had broken the law and built a castle here. He sent an assassin, Mr. Ogas. Ogasawara decided to retreat to Izumo with the 17 year old princess Chiyo. On the way there, as they passed by Tsuchimura, Princess Chiyo said she wanted to drink water. Despite the servant's warnings, the princess walked over to a pond and she slipped and fell in. What happened to her? She just disappeared. Disappeared? One week later, the princess's body was found floating in the pond, but she looked beautiful, as if she was still alive. That's the legend of the princess of Higa Himigamori Forest. A drowned body looked beautiful a week later. That doesn't make any sense. Legends don't have to make sense. So it's not like the dead princess came back to life, right? However, the legend changed as it was passed down, and now people say that a dead body would come back to life more beautiful than before. Pitch must have meant that the dead Aya came back alive in a more beautiful state. We have theme exhibitions too. Have a flyer. I take a flyer for a theme exhibition. It says, Exhibition of Matsue and Aliens. Matsue and Aliens? Do Martians come visit or something? That's outside of my field. Space isn't your thing, huh? Well, please enjoy your stay. Thanks. I hang on to the flyer. And with that, we're out of time for this episode. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. We shall see what happens next, I suppose. I'm kind of intrigued, but also irritated um the investigation thing sucks bum and <laughs> i feel like i'm hugely railroaded and our main character is an insufferable douche but i still need to know how it all turns out at the end you know what i mean anyway i'm sure we'll get there uh, we've only got like two more friends to find so yeah thanks for watching bruce and i'll see you in the next one